Hi, I'm Angie, and this is my first video, and uh, I'm really nervous because I don't know how to do this. I just hope that you guys will enjoy it, as I wish to enjoy it myself. Uh, okay, I'll first of all start by telling you who I am, and uh, where I come from, where I have lived. Um, I'll also maybe talk to you about why I'm doing all this and uh, uh, what I'm doing right now and where maybe where I wish to go from here and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll just give an insight of who I am and it's going to be an interesting journey for many people I hope and uh, yeah so as I said my name is Angie and Angie Nanga. I come from Cameroon, from two very proud parents, uh, Loom and Anye. And I love you so much. If you ever get the chance to see this video, I'll be very, very happy that you leave me a comment. Why not? Okay. Um, actually, I I lived in Cameroon up to when I had 25 years and that was uh, after my university studies back then and I moved to Spain where I lived for 11 years okay and um, I had this opportunity to come over to Sweden where I could do a master's degree to further my studies actually I've been looking for this opportunity for so long and uh, I didn't hesitate to take it for many, many reasons, which maybe in the future, if everything goes well, you guys will get to know. So, as a person, well, I'm a very a simple person. Um, I'd say very simple, and I like to, to, um, to challenge myself. Yeah, I really like to challenge myself. And to see that what I, I propose, I I try to really do it and 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 do it to the best of my knowledge. Okay, um, yeah, it's a very challenging thing to talk about myself, but really I have to try and do this because I think it's something that most people really face difficulties talking about. You know, so I'm a very sensitive person, a very very sensitive person. Um, I would say maybe a bit timid, okay? I'm a bit timid, I'm a very timid person. And uh, maybe if you get to know me, if you know me for the first time, you'll be like, oh, this girl is like maybe a bit reserved or she doesn't want to talk to me or maybe she wants, she's kind of, you know, as we say back in Cameroon, she's like hiding up and there, you know, like she doesn't want to, you know, interact with us and kind of stuff. Yeah, I choose my crowds, that's for sure. I don't just you know, just get into to mingling with people and, you know, just because I see people gathering, I have to have a reason why I have to be with people, you know. So, and I'm sure many people identify with this. I mean, it's not like everybody has to, like, uh, be, the, like be the, just, be the person that just, just jumps in and it's like doing things and drawing attention, you know. Yeah, I, I, I like my attention in a way, but... I just want to be me. I like to be me, actually, and I, 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 I think I like being the way I am. And I would like anybody who has the same, um, the same personality to feel good about him or herself. Okay. So um, as I said, I'm a kind of very, I'm a very, I'm somehow be shy, and be um, uh, shy sometimes, you know, it has an advantage and a disadvantage. And I'm sure you all you guys know what I'm talking about. But then I always try to take the good out, out of every situation because um, our lives are determined by the decisions we make. So I'll rather ponder over the good that comes out of my shyness rather than ponder out of the, you know, out of the negativity that comes out of it. So that's it. And um, Apart from that, um, I'm very adventurous, actually, I'm very adventurous, and to be frank, many people wouldn't really think that I would be, but yeah, 
I'm very adventurous. I like to adventure. I like to uh, maybe, I don't know, take my bike and get lost somewhere, go to the mountains and and maybe just see stuff. Well, definitely I wouldn't do pointing as we say in Spanish. I wouldn't do that because I don't know. Whoa. Yeah. But um, I like... Uh, I like to to see places just to 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 do things that I haven't had the opportunity to do because of my maybe because of my my background or things like that okay and uh I like to study I'm very curious as it comes to study to studies I'm very very curious I like to to um yeah to to gain new knowledge I don't I I don't care where it comes from I like to know about photography, I like to know about movies, I like to know about, uh, I don't know, acting, I like to to just learn anything, you know, I, it can always come handy in some in some case, okay? I mean, I'd like to, to know how to mend my car, I'd like to, to know how to mend my bikes, my bicycle, uh, yeah, I'd like to mend my computer, you know, other stuff, uh, and... It's nice to be a bit kind of independent sometimes, even though, yeah, sometimes we, we can also depend on people to, like, help us. That's why we are human beings. We have to depend on each other, you know, yeah. Um, so, um, after talking about myself, I'm sure you're gonna, you guys are going to know more about myself in the course of all this adventure. And um, don't uh, hesitate to ask me any question. If I'm able to uh, answer your questions, I will. Uh, actually, I'm 35. Sorry. This mistake, I always do it. Things. I'm 36 years old. And uh, actually, I'm single. I'm not searching. Because I think life is meant to be lived and enjoyed. Okay? And... We just we just open to whatever comes that way, yeah. So that's it. That's it. I have the children, and um, uh, but I like children, of course. I, um, yeah. And um, what else can I tell you about? Um, okay. So I left Spain. That was in two thousand and thirteen. That was last year, in August, on the twenty sixth. I left a very good company with whom I was working. It's called Kylie's. And if you guys go to Spain, please try find out about that. It's a very nice company, and um, uh, they are very, very, very uh, the boss and and all the other workers. They are really, really good people. So you you make sure you you visit them and yeah yeah why not. So I was working in Kylie's and I left and then I came to Sweden to do a masters in tourism and um, yeah uh, so far so good um, I've been able to go through the winter months and here in Umeå in the north of Sweden and it's really cool yeah the only thing that I really kind of felt like I wasn't I wasn't going to cope with was with the darkness in it's three o'clock yeah thank you my computer so I uh, I had this fear that maybe I wasn't going to cope with the darkness in December because I slept through the 24th, the 25th, 26th, and even the 27th of December. And I'm like, whoa, I have to do something. I really have to do something because life kind of continue like this. So I tried to get up at 9 o'clock in the morning, at latest, you know, at most, I'd say, yeah, because uh, places were really dark. But then as time went by, I got to... To yeah, to adapt and 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 so far so good really. Right now we have uh, the sun rising at 5:30, so it's kind of fine. It's really cool. So anybody who wants to come up north and experience Omeo, you're very very welcome. Okay, it's a very very nice place. I mean the people are so so nice. I mean, uh, I mean like a Swedish. As what I've learned here is that there are lots of opportunities. Bird, you have to be proactive, and I like that. I like that. You have to go out there and really, you know, uh, show your interest. You just you just can't wait and sit there waiting for people to come to you. No, you have to go out there and really search for those things yourself, and inquire and all that all, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so 
So that's one of the things I've learned here. I'm gonna talk, uh, talk to you a lot about Sweden because this is where I live and you're gonna get lots and lots of stories about that. So, um, let me see. Um, what I'll mostly talk about here, oh, sorry, it's Twitter. What I'll mostly talk about here is my life as a single black girl, okay? Um, I think that's going to be very, very interesting, not just as a black girl, I'm sorry to say that, my life as a single um, over 35 year old woman, okay? I think that's the best thing, to, the best way to put it. Um, it's a very fabulous life, actually. It's a very fabulous life. You know, it all, all comes from here, from the mindset. I decided to do this because I went through stages of maturity and I reached a stage where I thought maybe I should help some other people who are maybe approaching my age and, uh, yeah. And maybe they're thinking, oh, we've still, I haven't done stuff and that kind of thing. I mean, you've done lots of stuff. To be who you are really so just examine your life and see what, do, what are those good things that have really made you to be a good person today okay so that is it and it's just to keep living the life you have each day happily because that's the only life you've got i'll all say that's the only life you've got so you don't leave it you waste this moment you'll never recover it so that's my philosophy. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about my life as a single, as a single woman, and uh, yeah, if someday I get married, I'll tell you about it as well. But right now, as a single woman, this is my life, and I'm gonna tell you how to live it, how I live it, if it can inspire you to live better or maybe to understand single women. That would be cool. Okay, and. Um, I would also like to tell you about my daily experiences. I mean, those things that make me sad, those things that make me happy, and uh, my curiosities. And, and I'd like to discover your curiosity, so don't hesitate, okay, to, to let me know what your curiosities are. And maybe if you want me to, to discuss something here in the future, just let me know, and I'll try to see how to put up a video for that, okay? And, um, I'm also going to discuss my life here as a student here in Omeo University. It's one of the best universities in Sweden, okay? And I invite you all to come, you know, especially uh, those people from from third world countries, as we as they call them. Um, yeah, normally in October, you try to see uh, if you can consult the web page. It's Omeo University. You try to see if you could, uh, yeah, Check it out if you just check it out. It, it's worth it, okay? It's worth it. If not here, you can check out um, some other universities in Sweden, okay? It's. I recommend it. I recommend it. It's a very, very good university. I am well taken care of. And um, and lastly, uh, what I'm going to talk to you about is my life here in Umil in general. I mean, it's a very green, uh, green town, okay? Uh, it's got lots of precious mountains and it's got a very nice lake just out here that's frozen and uh, yeah it's it's awesome and um, uh, if you like adventure if you really like contrast in in weather and all that kind of stuff you'd love it here I, I, I come from a very very warm um, country okay but I love it here as well I think I just feel at home. I don't know why. I just feel at home. But then, time will tell. Okay? Um, I think I'm going to leave it uh, today here. And um, I would like to talk to you again soon. Alright? So you stay tuned. And uh, you live your life. Live your life today as if it were the last. Do those things that will really, really make you happy. Yeah. Okay? Love you. Bye.